In the year 2002, the Sarayan Formation in Colombia, South America, became the focus of paleontologists from the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute. Engaged in yet another planned excavation in a coal mine, the team uncovered the skeletons of two enormous prehistoric animals. However, the most significant discovery diverged from expectations. One scientist stumbled upon a peculiar bone, a vertebra measuring 5 inches in width, 8 times wider than a human vertebra. Join us Cosmic Exploration The Colossal Titanoboa, the largest snake on Earth, captured in stunning detail on camera. This size indicated that the identified creature was exceptionally colossal, particularly when compared to humans. Nearby, the remains of other giant animals were likely its prey. Scientists estimate that the predator was comparable in size to a Volkswagen Golf, speculating that the beast, to which the vertebra belonged, perished millions of years ago. The lingering question is whether other specimens of this prehistoric monster might still exist today. The seemingly ordinary coal mine, now transformed into a paleontological research site known as Siri Own, witnessed ongoing excavation work. Surprisingly, bulldozers and tractors continued their operations, seemingly risking damage to valuable specimens. However, it appears that collaboration between miners and paleontologists is mutually beneficial. Fossils, concealed beneath coal seams, are revealed as large mining machines extract coal, exposing extensive materials crucial for research. This cooperative effort allows scientists to gain insights into the flora and fauna of the Paleocene, resembling that of modern-day tropics but on a larger scale. Around 60 million years ago, the same coal mine area teemed with life, hosting the fossils of plants and trees from the planet's initial tropical forest. The excavation in northern Colombia revealed surprising remnants, such as the massive turtle Sarahanamis, comparable in size to a smart car. Another example was the nearly 5-meter-long crocodile, Intrica suchis balrogas, similar in size to a Porsche. However, the most astonishing find was the unknown bee skeleton discovered by Carlos Jaramillo. The expedition crew, led by Jaramillo, uncovered vertebra after vertebra, eventually reconstructing a model of the complete skeleton. This revelation unveiled the existence of Titanoboa, the largest snake ever discovered, measuring a staggering 13 meters long. With nearly 30 Titanoboa skeletons found so far, scientists believe this length was typical for an adult snake, although larger specimens may have existed. The colossal size of Titanoboa is attributed to the temperature of its habitat, where warmer climates led to larger sizes. Scientists also link the gradual extinction of Titanoboa to climatic changes following the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event, which impacted global temperatures. The species heyday saw Titanoboa as the apex predator, capable of defeating 100-kilo turtles and swallowing giant crocodiles. Despite its dominance, Titanoboa faced threats from predation and the species' peculiar mating rituals, involving fatal encounters between males and females, contributed to its rarity. Ultimately, unexpected climate change during the early Miocene led to the decline and extinction of Titanoboa as the average global temperature dropped to levels unsuitable for the thermophilic snake. Adapting to their new habitat, tropical forests underwent a transformation into something resembling pastures. The prey-based decline or reduction of Titanoboa is theorized by scientists. They suggest that the snake perished due to challenges in finding food, an unusual assumption. How could an animal at the apex of the food chain, unmatched in combat, face extinction merely due to changes in climate, unable to adapt? While scientists assert Titanoboa's extinction long predates human emergence, tales of colossal snakes persist in various cultures and legends. These narratives may not be products of imagination but rather exaggerated perspectives of the world by our ancestors. The Old Testament mentions a sea monster resembling a giant serpent, Leviathan, embodying chaos and soul consumption. In Norse legends, Vikings spoke of a formidable sea serpent named Jormungandr, said to encircle the earth by biting its own tail. Runestones and engravings depict these myths, including a tale of Thor attempting to slay the colossal creature. Interestingly, the giant serpent could have inhabited the Norwegian sea, supported by the warm Norwegian Curran, making it an ideal environment for the thermophilic Titanoboa. Similar beliefs are found in Eastern religions, with Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism referencing the Naga, a giant serpent residing in various environments. In Thailand, locals believe the Naga hides in the Phu Lanka National Park, now a rock formation. Some tourists speculate that this rock might be a fossilized Titanoboa, carved by a volcanic eruption over thousands of years. However, park representatives attribute the rock's scale-like pattern to natural processes, with no similar rocks nearby. Beyond myths, there are purported sightings of Titanoboa in witness videos. 
One video reveals a snake swimming in murky water, appearing larger than an anaconda. In 1959, U.S. CIA personnel captured a photo of a snake with an estimated length of 59 meters in the Republic of Congo. Additional footage showcases an enormous snake on a roof in Samara, Russia, and a fisherman attempting to catch a giant snake in Brazil. While these visuals suggest immense sizes, scientists caution that the evidence is insufficient to fully describe Titanoboa's habits and features. The possibility of Titanoboa's existence in modern times raises questions about its adaptation capabilities. Scientists propose the idea of stasis, an ability observed in some living organisms. Stasis involves a temporary pause in vital functions, allowing survival in extreme conditions. Some snake species, like common garter snakes, exhibit stasis during harsh winters. The notion is that Titanoboa might have entered a dormant state underground millions of years ago, facing extinction due to cold temperatures. The question remains, when and where might it awaken? Paleontologist Carlos Jaramillo, the first to discover Titanoboa, believes the giant reptile's return is plausible, but only if global temperatures rise significantly and not sooner than a million years. Unexpectedly, recent years have seen a rapid escalation of global warming, altering the equatorial region's average annual temperature to around 31 degrees Celsius, higher than the Paleocene's global average. If Titanoboa has been dormant all this time, this moment could be ideal for it to emerge from its prolonged slumber. While it may have already occurred, various news outlets in warm countries have reported on suspicious cases suggesting that the giant snake may have been active for quite some time. For example, India Water Portal has an article detailing the mysterious disappearance of fish in large quantities. Fisherman German Ram, residing in the North Indian state of Uttarakhand, recalls a time when he could catch around 100 kilograms of fish per day in the river Ganga. However, this is no longer possible as freshwater biodiversity in India has witnessed a drastic decline, with populations of large migratory fish plunging by a staggering 94%. Locals attribute this decline to pollution, mining, and overfishing. However, what if the fish in Indian waters are prey for something else? India's climate is conducive to giant reptiles, with news feeds often featuring reports of giant snakes attempting to swallow whole deer or surprising pedestrians in urban areas. It is plausible that the environment could also support a larger snake, such as Titanoboa. Scientists believe that fish constituted a significant part of Titanoboa's diet, based on the snake's palate, the number, and anatomy of its teeth. Considering the extinction or reduction in size of most fish species Titanoboa once fed on, if it were still alive, it would need to catch a much larger quantity of fish. However, a more alarming aspect is that when Titanoboa sought a substantial meal, it would also prey on giant crocodiles. If Titanoboa were alive today, it might prey on humans. A prehistoric crocodile, which was Titanoboa's prey, weighed as much as 410 kilograms. To acquire that much meat, Titanoboa would have to consume approximately seven people. This sheds a different light on the disturbing statistics of missing persons. For instance, in British Columbia, Canada, there has been a disproportionately high number of missing persons cases, with almost 12,500 reported in 2020 alone. While the region may not align with Titanoboa's historical habitat according to scientists, recent discoveries suggest its habitat could be larger than currently known. Another clue indicates that Titanoboa might be responsible for the mysterious disappearances of people. Unidentified human remains are often found along shorelines, as marked on the map. The large number of such findings raises questions about how so many people could fall victim to Titanoboa, considering its colossal size. The reptile's special hunting technique, similar to that of a crocodile, involves waiting for prey in hiding, partially submerged in water. Titanoboa knows how to hold its breath, and its coloration makes it inconspicuous, potentially leading victims to mistake it for seaweed. When the prey is within reach, Titanoboa charges at it suddenly, bites the prey's neck with its massive jaw, preventing escape. It then coils around the body, strangling the prey with a crushing force exceeding 180 kg per 6.4 square centimeters. Once the victim is subdued, Titanoboa swallows it whole, skipping the need for chewing. The digestion process involves the snake's stomach juice, which contains hydrochloric acid dissolving the prey's bones. This process mimics the disappearance of missing persons, as human bones consist of calcium phosphate and other salts that dissolve in hydrochloric acid. While paleontologists base conclusions on an extinct animal's appearance and behavior solely from deteriorating bones, videos of titanoboa-like snakes and abnormally frequent disappearances should not be ignored. 
Therefore, if you live near water and observe peculiar tracks on the sand, suspicious-looking seaweed, or strange ripples on the water, it is crucial to stay vigilant and report any findings to the relevant authorities. Top of form. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries signing off.